Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we have Trish Una from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind. Um, I'm on a landscape orientation page. You should use a pencil and an eraser for these. Definitely, you could always ink them afterwards, but definitely sketch them out with pencil first. And try and draw it lightly, sketch it lightly. You know, they're easier to erase. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with her right eye. So we're just about the middle point, just up top half of our page, just up here. Center point of my page is about here. That's probably where her nose would be. And the eye is just up and over to the right a little bit. And we're gonna start with her right eyelid. So massive, big, thick Jojo eyelids. So we go curve it up first. And then we'll bring it across like so. And then down this side and back in underneath to there. And of course, you thicken it up then. So you add like just a thicker line like that, right? Like adding sort of just like dark, extra darkness or something just to the lines. Like so. And you just keep going until you feel the lines are heavy enough, thick enough, like that. And she has some eyelashes sticking off, so like down here, in Jojo style, you know, real thick sort of eyelashes and some coming off the top, just here, like so. And so then her iris, so we have a circle with the top cut off, just coming around here. This kind of thing. So just a circle with the top chopped off by her eyelid. And then the pupil in there. Color shine, part the eye. And then some lines going up into there. Eyelid line, both here, down like so. Like that. And she's got big hair, big fringe and stuff, so we can't really see much of her eyebrow. I'll do the hair, then do the eyebrow first. So, so even though this eye looks like straight, right, her head is kind of a little bit tilted, right? And her eyes, this character, she seems to have very uh, sort of, I don't know, what would you say? Downturned kind of eyes. It's like her top eyelid slants down like a good bit, right? Like, kind of like this one. Yeah, so over and down. We're a good bit down because the head is tilted, right? So whatever your eye distance is here, so the width of her eye, another eye will fit inside, right? So you want to start down here. So we're like below this eye because her head is tilted and she has sort of downturned eyes for just the way her character seems to be designed, like real big sad looking eyes i guess so up again like so and then we'll bring a line across the top just there and you know you can thicken it up as well So this is partly covered by her hair anyway, so you won't really see much of this side. So we'll have to erase that when we come to it. But And then you go back down the other side. <clears throat> Again, and up underneath. So real slanty, right? Because her head is, head is a little bit tilted, right? So that's like the line for her head. We're a bit crooked, right? But real slanty, sad eyes different to what we're used to drawing. And then her iris, so curve it around, circle with the top cut off again, pupil, shine 
or highlight and then lines for the iris just there and eyelashes forgot them just like so and coming down here as well like that so we can't see her eyelid line over this side because of her hair so we'll just leave it like that so nose down here in the middle so we just got like a kind of an arrow pointing down just there and then we have a nostril sticking in like that nostril sticking in here and we just thicken up this line just to make it look a bit more like a shadow underneath her nose just there and then it may come up the side a little bit like so and we've got some of those hatching lines just coming across the top of her nose there like that just makes the bridge of the nose a little bit more defined maybe a line just there for the side so you can see the angle now we're at not straight you could do it straight if you wanted you know turn it that way but uh, her head is tilted in the picture so okay top lip up down up down it's like a letter m that's what we're going for and in jojo style we have big lips so we go again so up down up and down just in there another letter m a bit more stretched out this time and then we can see her teeth in here so just a gap on both sides of those bumps just there and then her bottom lip just here comes across like so and she could have some lines on her top lip you know like jojo characters usually do bit of a shadow under her chin under her bottom lip sorry under her chin close to her chin and then speaking of her chin chin down here like so so you can check your proportions now so the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin so this distance, nose to chin, is the same as this distance. Eyes to nose, the bottom of the nose. Here to here, same as here to here. Then bottom lip is halfway between the nose and the chin. So the, um, bottom lip to chin is the same as bottom lip to the bottom of the nose. So once you get those proportions, we can go up the side. Like so, curving for the jaw. So you kind of, you turn when you're at mouth level, okay? And just on the edge of her eye. See, see the way it sort of lines up with the side of her eye there, on both sides here. So when you're underneath your eye and you're at about mouth level, that's when you go up the side of the face. So you don't go that same angle. If you were going that angle, you'd go off that way. See? So you gotta just change your angle up the side of her face. Up towards her ear. Like so. Okay, so then we got some hair, right? So just down beside her eye, we got a hair spike just here. Like so. And then a sideburn comes down from there, and then her ear will come out from it. Like this. And then bones and ligaments inside. So easiest way is always a letter J. Okay, easiest way to do ears, but if you like more detail, you can do more.
And she has some lines. I don't know if they're earrings or like just details. I'm not sure. It's like a shadow in here. And an extra line there. And right. So over the other side, we have sideburn as well. Piece of hair sticking out this way this time. Like that. And then her ear is in here. Like so. And again, easiest way, letter J. Like so. But you can always add more. And she has some lines there as well. And she has those Jojo sort of marks on her face. Okay, so she's got like a 1950s or something hairstyle. So like there's a big round section in the middle and then there's a couple of spikes out along the side. So what we do first, we'll do the side spikes here. So we'll go spike there, back up. Of course, any lines that go in on top of the hair, you can erase them with your eraser. Oh, we got rid of them now once we finish the hair. So that's two spikes, and then this curves into about here. And now that big round section goes across her eye all the way up to here. So it like, let's see, I'm gonna guess here. So curves. Like that. And then it's gonna go all the way up around the eye, all the way up to like here. We're going to join that to that now. So we'll go this way. Like that comes across her eye. There. <clears throat> and this maybe goes a little bit longer, just up to there. So that's the kind of shape. And she has some fringe pieces just here. Coming down across her nose, one there, one there. And we can see her eyebrow then inside here. So just coming down underneath that hair, thin, real thin eyebrow. Like that. And... Okay, so we've got some hair along the outside of the circle here. Like so, then another line following that. Going up around the top. Just about there. And then another line. This is like the top of her head now here. So, chin to like the this part of her. Chin to eyebrow, let's go with that. So from her chin to her eyebrow, eyebrow to the top of the head is the same, right? So that this line, this distance, eyebrow to here is the same as eyebrow to chin, okay? So that's your proportion. And then, so her hair kind of spirals around in here. So we gotta do a couple more lines. So coming down this way. Round it in like this. Then I get another line here. And, and kind of like an inside line. There. Up and around and down into there. Let me go in there. And here. Some hatching and stuff. And there's a spike sticking up here. Like that. And keep going. Just add, keep adding some more detail. So, curve line there. Spike sticking off here. 
another spike coming down here. Boom. And line in here. Curve line here. And then a curve line there. And another piece out here. And another. Okay, so that's her hair, apart from the bits that are behind her neck. So we'll do her neck and then do her hair. So, so her head is tilted, but her body isn't really. It's like maybe a little bit, but not really. So line down there, line down like so. And she got a choker on, so it comes across her neck. So it comes across like so. that and then the outside of that so it wraps around comes down back around the other side and up and back around the other side of her neck and it has some details like some squares one two so these are lines but I'll join them up together two, three. Four. Three, two, four. And there's like random shapes and stuff inside. Signs, circles, long ones, stuff like that. And then the rest of her neck comes down that side. And we have some neck muscle here, here, and a shadow underneath her chin. So just like a dark black shadow, which is common in um, Golden Wind. So this is all black. And you can add some hatching just on the side here. Neck muscle, neck muscle with some hatching. <clears throat> like so, right, so trapezius muscle, curve line there, trapezius on the other side, curve line there. Now we can add her hair, so the hair that comes down behind her neck, just here, goes down, down behind her back. So shoulder then. It kind of sticks out here and then curves down for her arm. Same on the other side. Shoulder sticks out like that. Down. So her, she, so her head is a little bit tilted and so is her body a tiny little bit. But you could have them the same height if you wanted. It doesn't make too much of a difference. I just put that shoulder a little bit lower because that's the way it is in, is in the picture. Her body's a little bit tilted that way. So collarbones then. Here. They kind of run up into the shoulder joint because that's what happens in real life. And she has a strap coming down to her clothing here, to her to whatever top she's got on. So this strap comes down to here. Like that, it's got a clasp or a buckle or something just here. Like that, and there's like two circles. One, two, and then a line coming down to her top, just here. So then the collarbone will run in behind that, up to her shoulder joint, just up there. Okay, so, her top, so curves across, so curves across her chest, just there. And then curves down the side, like that. And then you can see the side of her chest just here, goes up and joins her armpit. And there's some hatching and stuff there. And then the other side, so her top curve line, just goes down off my page there. Same sort of shape, runs across her chest, 
there. And then the side just here runs into our armpit and back up here. And some lines there, some hatching maybe on our arm. Um, inside line of our chest, inside line of our chest there. And here. And some hatching like so. Okay. Just a line across her top, line across the top there, and just check and make sure I'm not missing anything. So some hatching, hatching, um, yeah, I think that's everything. How to draw Trish Una from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.